Okay, this is uh, Welcome to the Good Life with your radio pastor, Pastor Tina LaFleur. Okay, you can reach us at um, P.O. Box 2311 in Downey, California. Our, and uh, the zip code is 90242. Okay, and our telephone number is 562-398-3366. Okay, now I want to get going tonight. We don't have the music, okay, but uh, uh, we're going to get going without it. So all glory and honor goes to God in the highest tonight and, and this morning in Jesus' name. And I want to also acknowledge our radio engineer, Mr. Johnny Morris. Now, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus, Lord, and we exalt you. We extol you. We raise you up high. Hallelujah, Father. We acknowledge your presence right now. And you said, as you, we acknowledge your presence, you will direct our path. Father, let, may I decrease and you increase in me right now. I thank you that you're touching each and every listener, their ears, hallelujah, to be open to hear what you have to say and that opening their heart and touching their heart, that they may receive, hallelujah, all that you have for them tonight. Right now, I come against every plot plan and scheme of the enemy that's designed against every listener and i call each plot plan and scheme null and void right now in jesus name i thank you father that you're sending your holy angels and you're sending sending them to escort each and every listener into your plan into your purpose hallelujah for their peace their prosperity and wholeness health and happiness in jesus name amen okay now this morning's topic is all all are yours yes all are yours you can meet that's look that's look at this in first corinthians chapter 3 uh verses 21 through 26 and it says, therefore, let no man glory in men. Yeah, don't glory in men. For all things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Cepheus or the world or life or death or things present or things to come. All are yours and ye are Christ and Christ is God. Also in the gospel of John uh, chapter seven, verse six, when then Jesus said unto them, my time is not yet come, but your time is always ready. All right. God is telling you all is yours. Everything is yours and your time to go forth and get it is now. OK, all these promises are only realized, activated and manifested in your life through faith. Let's look at Romans chapter four, verse 16, 13 and 16. Okay, it says, for the promise that he should be heir of the world was not to Abraham or to his seed through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. Verse 16, therefore, it is of faith that it might be by grace to the end. The promise might be sure to all the seed, not to that only which is of the law, but to that which is of the faith of Abraham who is the father of us all. Hallelujah. So it is through the faith and through grace that we're saved. Hallelujah. Let's see that in um, Ephesians chapter two, verses six through eight. And it says for God, who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherewith he loved us. He loves us. Even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ by grace. Ye are saved. And that raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. For by grace are ye saved through faith and not of yourself. It is a gift of God. It's a gift. Hallelujah. You, you don't have to work for it or be good enough to get it. This grace cannot be earned. It is simply a gift from God through faith. And all you have to do to receive a gift is say thank you, right? 
So, but now we must take on the mind of Christ. Even though Christ, that though he was he was in the world, he the world was made by him. You can see that in the Gospel of John, chapter one. But Christ, even though the world was made by him, Christ humbled himself and became obedient to death, even the death of the cross. It says that in Ephesians chapter two, verses five through eight. So we must seek God's grace, God's will for us, just as Jesus followed God's will for him this is god's plan for our life and we can get god's plan and jeremiah chapter 29 11 verses 11 through 14 tells us how to get that plan and i'm just going to paraphrase it for time god has a plan for your life it says in uh, jeremiah 29 11 through 14 to give you a future and a hope okay and so it also tells us to seek god with all our heart as a vital necessity it is a vital necessity that you get in god's grace god's plan for your life and when you seek him with all of your heart you will hear hear from him that is what abraham did he heard from god god's plan for his life and it produced in abraham great faith unstaggering faith as you can read this later in Romans chapter 4, verses 16 to, through 23. Once you and I seek the Lord for his grace for our life, we will know what God has created us to do and become. Once we realize God's plan for our lives, we will discover and have great faith that God has thoroughly given us all that is needed. All is ours. All is yours to accomplish his plan, his will and giving and receiving in second Corinthians chapter nine. Hallelujah. Let's let's look at that. Chapter nine. Verse eight. And it says, and God is able. So God is is able god has the power the ability the know-how and it says and god is able to make god is able to order to command to put into action all grace to abound toward you that ye always always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work that is your god's plan and purpose for your life it's a good work and it says in in uh, Second Corinthians verse uh, chapter eight verse nine, and this comes about because it says, "For we know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ has, though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye through his poverty might be rich." Hallelujah. So now you are rich because of Jesus Christ, and also in provision and supply. Okay, let's turn to. Uh, Philippians chapter four, verse 19, and it reads, but my God shall, hallelujah, my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus and by Christ Jesus, hallelujah, Christ Jesus created what the heavens and the earth was created by the word of God, which was Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So all is yours. Hallelujah. And so God has given you the power, the ability, the know-how to get wealth. And you can see that in Deuteronomy 8, 18. Okay, this is the key to getting your wealth. It is lies in seeking someone else's wealth. And you can see that in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 23 through 24. Okay, let's look at that right, right quick, okay? Turn to that first Corinthians chapter 10, verse 23 through 24. And it says, all things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but all things are things edified not. Let no man seek his own, but every man's, every man's another's wealth. Hallelujah. So God has blessed us to be a blessing. God has called us into his grace to be a blessing to other men and women. Hallelujah. He called us to be a blessing to all the families of the earth. It says in Genesis chapter 12, verses two through three. So God has created us and he has blessed us and he desires to bless us. And we must get into God's grace. All are yours. As you seek and find God's grace for your life, God's plan 
and stay within your God-given grace for your life. This is true peace, prosperity. Hallelujah. It is to discover that God has given you all it takes to accomplish his good pleasure for all is yours. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, hallelujah. If you have not received Jesus Christ as the son of God who became sin for you, taking your place on the cross so that you can have eternal life and this life more abundantly to enjoy to the full, to the overflow. Hallelujah. So right now, pray with me to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior if you would like to receive Jesus Christ this morning. And say, repeat after me. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for dying on the cross for me. I receive you at, at, in my heart and in my life as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you prayed that prayer. And right now, oh, hallelujah, even the angels in heaven are rejoicing. If you prayed that prayer and meant it with all your heart, hallelujah, the angels are rejoicing in heaven. Hallelujah. And so right now we'll have two announcements. You can now hear and see me, a picture of me on YouTube. And I'm Pastor Tina, Tina with an E. LaFleur, L-E-F-L-O-R-E, okay, on YouTube. And also I have about 24 of the same things, that uh, the broadcast from KTYM tonight that you're listening uh, from other shows, okay. And also we have Bible study every Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. Every Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. at 12110 East Front Street, that's F as in Frank, R-O-N-T Street. That's 12110 East Front Street in Norwalk, California. Norwalk, California, 90650. Okay, now I also want to announce that at 1230, it's not quite 1230 yet, you can call me for prayer at uh, 310-674-5896 at 1230. That's 310-674-5896, and I'll speak with you and pray with you, okay? And also, I want to also tell you, you can get my book, God's Plumb Line to Self-Actualization, which I wrote because it was very important to me. It shows you that you are the temple of God and how God transforms you into his image, Okay. And God will give you and show you who you are and bring you into your highest potential as you seek him. Hallelujah. And you as you consecrate yourself to him and you give your life to over to him in this book, God's plumb line will help you to get there. Okay, and you can order it uh, uh, by calling this number eight, eight, eight. 795-4274 795-4274 extension 7876, okay? That is 888-759-4274 extension 7876, okay? Or you can order online at xlibris.com. That's X L X S and sign your name at the X L I B R I S. Dot com or on Barnes and Noble dot com or Amazon dot com. And it's for fifteen ninety nine. It's also on ebooks. OK. All right. And it's also in a color form or uh, uh, other uh, the uh, hard or hard cover or the soft cover in color. All right. So anyway, this has been your radio pastor, Pastor Tina LaFleur, uh, saying welcome to the good life taking the path to greatness, okay? And I want to thank you, and if you can, please send in your donations and send me send in your gifts of love, okay, to me at P.O. Box 2311, Downey, California, uh, 90242, and our telephone number is 562-398-3366. We would love to hear from you with your praise reports, comments, and your love gifts and donations. To keep this broadcast 
on air. And to receive a free CD of this broadcast, write to Change, C-H-A-N-G-E-D, Ministries International, P.O. Box 2311, Downey, D-O-W-N-E-Y, California, 90242. Or call 562-398-3366. Or email Pastor Tina at Tina LaFleur at Yahoo.com. That's T-E-N-A-L-E-F-L-O-R-E at Yahoo.com. Thanks for listening to Welcome to the Good Life, Taking the Path to Greatness with your radio pastor, Pastor Tina LaFleur.